job of the music journalist to try and kind of unpick what they listen to and it's a way of explaining things to, to use genre names. It's a shorthand, you know? So it's useful if you're talking about music to be able to refer to them with these shorthand, these kind of um, categories, you know? But at the same time, I don't think, I don't think that, that it's necessarily a good idea to think of think of these things in terms of what what happened in the past and what happens in the future and the idea that um, once you name something does it freeze it in time does it now become something that started at one point and stopped at one point <laughs> When I started taking production seriously and I made this kind of melodic, um, atmospheric, ambient type stuff, I um, started getting booked for these nights that I, I hadn't even been to nights like that. You know, I was used to going to jungle nights and all of a sudden I'm going to these nights where it's, it's a slow all night, <laughs> you know, slow music. Um, and I didn't know what to do. I actually. I had experiences like getting booked for house nights. I'd never been to a house night before, you know? So I think on the one hand, that's, that's scary. You're in your, you know, you're not in your, I wasn't in my uh, comfort zone, but I think that challenges you, you know, to be outside your comfort zone and to be an outsider as well, I think, is beneficial. It's always frustrating for those people that DJ and don't produce that you have to produce to get gigs. You know, people book DJs because of how well they produce a lot of the time and they perhaps don't think about whether that person can DJ, they booking them because of their production and uh, not, all, not all promoters do that, but a lot do and it kind of, I mean, I'm not going to name any names, but there's plenty of producers that are no good at like Ableton and like affordable hardware is making it more and more easy for people to use those skills that they have as producers in a live environment. You know? I think a lot of the time, you know, there are obviously skills that transfer um, and there are skills that don't transfer. And I think the more you can kind of use those skills um, from your production skills and sort of transfer that to the DJ, the better, you know. And if that means using a computer to DJ, um, great, you know. If that make, if that makes the performance better, um, you know, a lot of producers because they're using computers that they're more comfortable being on stage with a computer. For me, I'm more comfortable. I feel more at home on stage with vinyl because that's where I come from. I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be happen overnight. It's not going to be a sudden change, you know. You get these little sparks every 10 years, something kind of, there's a new, fresh excitement over something new, but um, I'd, I'd kind of like to think that I'd like to think of clubbing culture or electronic music, dance music, as being something that's kind of not its own history. It's, it, it's, it, it's part of the wider history of music. <laughs> ¶¶